Hi gang, it's me, Mikhail, and I'm on Calypso, hunting Longtooth, just because I had nothing better to do. And I'm in my disco armor, because it's purple. <laughs> no, it has the same stats as Jaguar, and I'm wearing 5B plates, which is most likely overkill for the small Longtooth. But, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm admitting it's probably overkill. Don't care. I prefer to take minimal da damage and not fap if I don't have to. So, I just wanted to let you know what the rewards were for the stage 2 because I completed it. The only reason I'm shooting this one without getting my next mission is because it spawned on top of me. <laughs> so I either run for my life or I kill it and then I TP out of here. Not toilet paper. Teleport. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to teleport out of here. Actually, I kind of want to mark my position. So if you note, I'm in the system tab. I just press P. That gives me my position. So now when I get out of here, I just like, I like to look magical. Look at me. Magical. Okay. So I'm just going to bop over to the nearest teleporter. And then once I'm there, I can click my waypoint and that will remember where I was. Actually, what I'm going to do is copy the link because I have to go to bed after this. I have a car show in the morning. I know I'm so busy all the time, all the time. Some people go on holiday. I take off of work to clean and go to car shows. There. Long tooth small. Oh, send a message. No, not a message. I want a sticky note. <sighs> there. Sticky note. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to show you the rewards for stage two, which is we get 25 strength tokens, increase athletic skill by 1.74, or weaponry technology, or first aid by 0.87, or no strength tokens, increase athletics by 5.91. That's exciting. Or explosive weaponry, the projectile weaponry. I can't say it. Or first aid by 2.95. Or you can choose later which I was scared to do because I'm afraid they'll never let me choose. So what I'm grabbing is I'm going to grab the athletics and the strength tokens and Raven Jade informed me because I've had this mission for so long I don't remember but apparently it's 100 strength tokens gets you one strength point. And I do already have a lot of strength because I like melee here, let's look at the attributes. Yeah, my strength is 53, so I'm, and my health is 149. But you know what? You could always improve. It doesn't hurt to go up. So that's what I'm taking. So watch me. I'm going to, oops, get there. I want to scroll out so you can see me. I wish that waypoint would go away. There we go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Yay! And completed and strength token. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't even have to talk to the guy. Look, you just automatically get the next stage and I have to kill 1,000 of them. I think it took me two years to do the 250. Because <laughs> I plan it up a lot. So yes, anyway, yes, I'm ready to head out. And the rewards for stage three are looking pretty good. They're stamina tokens, which is good. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing most likely. So yes, indeed, 1,000 long tooth. There we go. That's all there is to it, kids. If you don't have the long tooth mission, you talk to the guy at Cape Corinth. Uh, I guess there's two guys in the bar, and he's the one on the left. So go to Cape Corinth, and then 
get your long tooth mission. And it does carry over from year to year, every migra migration. So now I have this thousand to kill. So if I don't get the thousand done this year, that's okay. It'll pick up where it left off next year migration. That's all I got for you. Have fun. Peace out. Huff big. Bye. See ya for now. Bye.